good day i'll be talking to you about the skills level i'll just give um, a brief overview the icon skills level is the fifth level of examinations out of the six total examination levels in icon this level contains six papers which are financial reporting performance management public sector accounting and finance corporate strategic management and ethics audits and assurance and taxation the purpose of this level is to test your ability to analyze business or for some papers governmental problems and interpret the results of your analysis and in some instances provide solutions to the problems you identified and that's why there's a lot of theory aspects across all papers even in the calculation courses like financial reporting performance management public sector accounting and finance and taxation for this level you are eligible to claim different exemptions and on the account website which is www.icanid.org you will see a long list of exemptions that are claimable based on the certification you have prior to writing this level but i only mention a few for the purpose of this track if you have the ATWA certification which is given to individuals that have completed the ats program you can claim exemptions for audit and assurance and taxation if you have um, a PhD in accounting with a master's in accounting and a BS in accounting, you can claim exemptions for all subjects and skills level, meaning that you'll not be writing any paper in this level. And if you have a BSc or HND in accounting from any ICANN accredited institution in Nigeria, you can claim exemption for audit and assurance. So this skills level tends to be tricky for a lot of candidates, especially those coming from ATS levels, because of two major reasons. One, because the courses are significantly bulkier in scope than the courses in the ATS level and they are expected to be completed in the same time frame. And number two, the exams are solely theory with compulsory questions, unlike the ATS levels that had objective and short answer sections. The shifts from ATS to skills level tends to put tension and fear in a lot of candidates. The solution to this, however, is to realize that no matter how broad the paper seems it is hinging on some key principles that can be gotten with little practice and once you can understand those principles no matter how the questions are set you will be guaranteed to have success in your examinations we'll be talking about the various courses in the following tracks um, like i mentioned earlier the performance management financial reporting public sector accounting and finance corporate strategic management and ethics audit and assurance and taxation and we hope that you will learn a thing or so about the principles and the ways to challenge the examination questions and get success in examinations. Stay tuned and thank you.